Mopar fam, we're back today. We're going to be doing another install. We got a set of Biyako fog lights. These are LED fog lights. Uh, the link will be in the description and they are from Amazon and it's the Biyako store. They sent us these lights to try out. So we're going to install them on Frostbite, test them out. I've already hooked them up to just a separate battery just to kind of see how bright they were and they are surprisingly very, very, very bright. These are the black lenses, so they're going to go with our uh, headlights that we already have right now currently on the truck. So finally, we'll have matching headlights and fog lights finally. But I'm going to get these things opened up. And I will bring these to the camera so you guys can see them. But these are the Big Yako fog lights. These are LED. And as you can see, they have a huge LED magnification in there. And like I said, this is the blackout, uh, blackout version. The lens is clear. So the lens is not smoked or tinted, but the housing is black. So it'll give you that dark appearance. It comes with everything, plug and play connector, metal frame, it has the adjuster on the back as well, so you can adjust the light up and down to get the right direction that you need. And also you can see on the back, the very big cooling fan, the cooling head on the back of it. So I think they're gonna look pretty good on the truck. They should be pretty bright. So I'm gonna lay both of them on the table and then we'll get the camera up here so we can get a better look at them. This is the left side light and like I said, it's a clear lens with a black housing. LED comes with the metal framing. It has the adjuster on the back as well. Cooling head, plug and play connector. They look pretty legit. They should look good on the truck. Same goes for the right side. All right guys, so as most of you know, I've been running the stock fog lights since I've had the truck and I've had numerous people tell me, man, you need to change these fog lights. And well, we're finally gonna do it. I just haven't had the time, nor honestly the care to wanna change them out in the past. But like I said, we got hooked up on these Biyako fog lights and we're gonna give them a shot. As you can see with the, the uh, projector headlights we got installed not long ago, these should match pretty close Definitely gonna look better than the chrome housing fog lights from the factory. So I think that's gonna give you a good idea. But other than that guys, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna start tearing the truck apart. Unfortunately, on the RT model Rams, the front bumper has to come off. So we're gonna have to take off the front bumper cover. So that's gonna require us to remove the grill and start undoing the front bumper cover. So we're gonna get to it, stay tuned. All right, so to get the, the uh, front grill off, all you're going to need is a 10 millimeter. And you have one, two, three, four 10 millimeter screws to take out. I've already removed the very passenger side. And now that we got all the screws out, it'll pretty much pop out. If you grab it right here, kind of from the bottom, there you go, front grill's off. All right guys, so as you see, we already kind of skipped ahead a little bit and we pulled out the headlights. So you do have to remove the headlights also to get this off. And to do that, you have a couple 10 millimeters, one here and one here, same thing on the driver's side. And then you'll have, you'll have to go through your fender well and the front tires and you can see it right here, but you have a clip in the very back that you have to reach in back here and press up to get your headlight to release so you can pull them out. And then you will unplug them and that is that. So the next step is to do the bumper. We have, you can probably see it right here through the headlight hole. There's a 10 millimeter right here and there's one also on the driver's side. So we're gonna get those off. And then for the most part, the rest of this will just kind of unclip. It just pops out. 
And then we have some hardware on the bottom that we have to unbolt and then this should come off. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have the front bumper cover off and now the fog lights are exposed. Um, kind of sucks. It's not very hard to get this bumper off, but it is kind of a pain in the butt because the fog lights have to come out through the front. Um, just the way they designed it. It is what it is. So now that we got access to it, we're going to get these lights unbolted and start putting in the new LED lights. All right, guys. So to get these lights out, on this particular model truck, you have these plastic clips and you have to squeeze these together and then push the plastic clips through the uh, bumper assembly there. So once you squeeze those and push them through and, un and then unplug your, your light connection, the fog light will come out through the front of the bumper. Now the new fog lights that we have that they sent us will fit multiple vehicles as far as the Ram trucks. So my particular application does not use this metal housing. So we're gonna remove the metal housing because we need our light to look like this one. As my application just uses these clips, which was what I was saying you have to squeeze to pop out the light. So we're gonna remove this metal bracket and make it look just like this so we can pop in the new LED light. So we got that one popped out, popped out that one, and then just like that, the bracket comes off, and like I said, we will not need this bracket on my application. All we need is just this. Those are the clips. They just pop right back into the bumper holder and then we're good to go. So we're gonna go install this light and plug it in. All right, so the only other thing I wanna mention, the new LED lights, they send you with a wire on connector plug that in my application, we will not need to use. As if we remove the pigtail they send you, my factory harness will plug directly into these lights, plug and play. Now, this harness that they send you, in some applications, it may be necessary for you to wire in this connector to fit the application that this plug may be needed on. But on my truck, this is a 2011 Ram RT. We do not need the harness they supplied. My factory harness plugs right in. We don't have to wire anything. It plugs right in, plug and play, and done. All right, guys, so we have the fog lights, new LED fog lights installed on both sides and uh, went pretty good. They look pretty bright. Obviously, it's daytime right now, so it's kind of hard to tell the difference, but I can definitely tell the light output is much better. Go ahead and fire them up. And there you go. There's the driver's side. Nice... Uh, very clean white LED color and they are looking pretty good you can kind of see even in the daylight here the light that they're putting out on my fuel cans down here we'll definitely give them a shot in the dark and see how they are at nighttime but I can tell you they're gonna be very bright so we're gonna get the rest of the truck back together and go from there all right guys so we are done with the LED fog lights. We got them installed. We got the bumper on. We got the grill back on. Everything's on. They're working good. Uh, we'll get some footage of these things at nighttime to see how bright they are. Uh, but they're very bright. I can tell you that right now. But we're done with this project. Um, like I said, if you're interested in these fog lights, link will be in the description below. So just click down below. You'll see the link. Take you right to the Amazon store. Other than that, we're about to work on the exhaust system um, as some of you guys know we're about to swap the transmission and I'm going to change my exhaust to be able to fit that transmission uh, the transmission pan on the new 46 RE has a really deep pan I believe it's like a six inch pan uh, six inch pan I think um, 
So we're gonna have to change my Y pipe and we're gonna run the exhaust straight back from each side, left and right side of the headers, run it straight back over the cross members. So we're about to kind of rip into the exhaust and get ready for the new transmission. Other than that guys, stay tuned, stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.